this is the do we keep ASMR or waffle ASMR in the background? Come back or we play the binding. Rag the mid range. I think I like playing the binding. I've seen worse hands against Rag the mid range. I'll keep. Yeah, wrecked. I got nothing. I got nothing good. That's how you own Ragdos chats. Just keep terrible opening hands. Wait, what? Dude, I did it again. How did I click F2 multiple times? What the? I clicked F2 multiple times there? Is my second main missing? No. Well, that sucks. If they don't have Fable, it's not the end of the world. And they don't have Fable. I've been doing that a lot lately. I was definitely distracted. Oh well. I saw Time Walk, I drew a card. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. I'm gonna be like one la it's kind of bad when I have a six drop and a hull. That I, I I gave up a turn there. My F key too sticking. My F6 key was sticking the other day. I time walked myself as F I thought Moto was bugged or something. Okay. Oh, well, that could have done much worse. Um, I want to be able to make this appear and from the it. ghastly eerie. I can see to the ends of the world, and from this vantage point, I declare with utter certainty that this one is in the bag. I also want to be able to feel over in plus cycle. So I played my untap land. Plus, I guess if I feel over in them, my price should come in my untap. Okay, they're gonna get one card of a castle. I don't know if we have an even game here or if they're still a bit ahead. I feel like it's fairly even. I have three planes, I have three blue sources. I guess I can get planes. You wanna to get to at least four planes so you can lay down the arms of shield red. I think I can main phase six cycle here. Find the upside of foretelling. I think that's the only upside, but might be worth it. Okay, they do know about the fort the farewell, so it's a little awkward. Getting it rid of lay down over land is pretty questionable. Insta punish. Especially since they probably have like fatal push in hand. Lands are good to have sharks. I have, I have lots of cards I could draw that benefits from having more lands, but it was close. Uh, I'm, I might have messed up. They almost 100% have a fatal push. But they're always going to have a fatal push. Would they have multiple go blanks in their main? They don't, one of their lists has two go blanks, actually. I don't know if I should play my land or not. Yeah, I think you play the land and you make them use a push. You never know, they might not have push somehow, but it's pretty unlikely. Down to seven, I'm going to go down to five. And they're going to force me to farewell for two stupid spirit tokens. Um... 
I wonder if it's better to just lay down a token. That buys me a bit of time. Or farewell now. But farewell now, they're probably gonna play two creatures. I guess I'll just say go one more time. As lay down then. Mm, I mean, the card itself has been better than Portable Hole. The problem is the lands you have to play. I think, I think in this matchup, um, it's better to play Portable Hole Verdicts, no lockdowns, because you get to play two extra lands, like the extra Iganjo, the extra Creature Land, the extra um, adds up. All right, Verdict one time. Or Wandering Emperor would be really good too. Damn, I might lose because I uh because I didn't play my land last turn. Rip. Also, not having portable hole for Pithing Needle and Bangbuster after sideboard is a pretty big deal. Right on time. Their version is kind of rough. Narcissus Reversal can be good against them. So that's their latest list. One the rest, two go blank in the main. And then they get Pithing Needle. I guess I need to keep in Lockdown because of Needle and Bangbuster. Even have him Invoke Despair. Loliana. Pretty annoying. I mean, Loliana is not that scary, I guess, but... What creatures do they have? Four shield reds. So what are they cutting? Four push, one power word kill. Maybe they keep in power word kill. No, it doesn't even kill angels. How much time do they have left? A minute 32. So they bring in two bang busters, one go blank, one Liliana, that's four, one invoke despair, that's five. And then they cut the five removal spells and they bring a needle maybe and they cut like one shield red or maybe Miser Shed is not very good. Oh, I can get rid of Soul Partition. I have the farewell too for, for needles, I guess. In the March. One verdict. Bone Crusher? Mm, Bone Crusher is pretty good against me. Could be better. Just take Denik here. I mean, Denny saw court because I have logged down in hand, so I'm just going to foretell uh, side coming, but this game's going to be tough. Value. Mm -hmm. Does that play Mali if it was legal? Yeah. Place over me disappear. Okay. 
Can I do it again? Nope. Sucks to be me. I don't think I can do anything. I just said need to hope to draw some lands. The lockdown is just losing me the game, not being a lay down the arms, but just this happens when you play control, I guess. Got pretty unlucky this match. My draw's been bad. I think that's the second time I lose to Ragdos. Like, second time in a row I lose to Ragdos, but... Just... My draw's been just terrible. I also just... I think this version's just worse against Ragdos. I might stop playing this version just because... Just so much worse against Ragdos. I guess if you sideboard the way I did, you just kind of lose to their two drops. Because pretty common line against this is to go like, turn three, you'll play your one mana removal spell on their two drop, and then you still have two mana for a veto or sensor. I'm just daydreaming. I didn't use Field on Castle right away. Oh man, this round was pretty lame. Just never drew a good card. Never drew a spell in game one. Never drew a, a land in game two. But yeah, I keep losing to Ragdos. I think the, the changes are like just hurting me. I mean, I did lay down Shield Reds and I've laid down the arms Bone Crusher Giants and stuff, but I'm not sure if it's worth it overall. Maybe I'm just sideboarding poorly though. Maybe boarding out all the laydowns. I feel like I keep losing games where I draw, draw a million lay down the arms and I lose to like Bangbusters and stuff and all these permanents. And now I just lose to turn to shadow. But uh, that match felt really pretty miserable. In the showcase. Beat the hell out of them. Not really. Actually, your first thing was one of my less close rounds. Looks like they're... Uh... Here for revenge. Lockdown might be clutch if I can draw some lands. Oh, it's a job on par Sammy. Okay, but isn't isn't the game he was working on had to do with like Bitcoin and stuff, or like crypto? I'm not really into crypto. Or did he change? Did he do something different? Yeah, I know Sammy. We're I don't know about friends, but kind of friends. That's the one. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not especially interested if that's if it has to do with, with crypto, but am I just Dobbs? Looks like I'm just Dobbs. Drew the land too. Didn't have mutavolt. Sucks.
the three mana counters are decent on the play and kind of bad on the draw. I think one test can go. I don't like cutting too much card advantage. Maybe spell partitions, kind of whatever. Don't need it on the play. Could cut Deluge, but then maybe you run out of cards. Maybe cut side coming. I like Farewell, yeah. I think it's fine to have wedding announcements. Games kind of go long. They don't have wedding announcement or anything like that. It's not as good, but they usually do. I think they're all pretty good. New cards. This matchup stuff. I think it's favorite for mono white by a bit. Didn't help that they were on the play game one and just had the absolute nuts, but well, yeah, I guess it's extremely, extremely close matchup. Are we blocking? Not too sure, actually. I'd usually go for the token. Not farewell. So let's see, they're gonna draw a card, play a creature. All right, I'll block the token. Oh, I guess I feel a rune too still. I wonder if they have a bunch of destroy evil in hand. That's the new tech. Get rid of the angels and lock down. Pretty annoying. Hmm. Do I care? Wait, what? Just verdict, right? No need to, uh, no need to gamble. Don't rely too much on Lyra. I don't have to. Lands? Nope. I have one card left. All right, let's cycle first, see what we draw. Okay, we know we have Farewell next turn. Still gonna play the uh, Lara first. So it doesn't flip. Alright, so they need removal for Lyra, and then I'm still in decent shape. Even if they do. I have the hall. Mm. 
don't think it matters too too much. Oh, to get day, to get to eat my token or eat my Lyra. It's kind of nice. I mean, not fair well, I guess, but could have been nice. I'll do graveyards too in case. Uh, in case they play the free too. All right, counters get even worse on the draw. I'm gonna bring in Soul Partition. Thornhunt is so bad against Brutal Cathar. And I sh think they should keep most of them. I mean, you could argue just like a Teferi over an Absorb just because it's really hard to, uh, to use Absorb in this matchup. I mean, Starnheim could bail you out, but I don't think that's going to happen very often. I think Absorb's just fine. All right, got to keep and hope they don't do what they did game one. I guess. Okay, no Muta Vaults. No Muta Vault, no Thalia. Pretty good for them though. Oof. Draw. Crusade. Have to log down right away, right? So. Clutch log down. If that was a verdict, that'd be bad. Cedrix. Seven months was a prime sub. Appreciate it. Rip Waffle. Did he win game two? Or did he not even win game two? Rip Waffle, rip me, rip, rip, rip all the heroes. So two questions. Am I ever going to want to absorb anything? Maybe. I feel like at any rate, I'm going to have to shock that hallowed fountain anyways. So maybe just do it now. I actually lost a match the other day against White because I made a 4-4 shark instead of 3-3 shark and my shark got hit by Destroy Evil. That's kind of sick. Played that, I feel like if they play Adeline, I probably have to absorb it, right? Or I could just play 4 Verdict. I do have 4. 1. Oh, Spiron is protected. Right. So I guess I'll let it resolve minus on Aspirant and then make a 2 2 to have a chum blocker. Six, seven. Absorb an Emperor next turn. I think that works out for me. Absorb, go to 13, take 6. That turns into a Crusade that's way too much damage. I'm not even sure I can... Uh... Okay, I actually have to do some math. Okay. Let that resolve. They attack. Let's say the attack was everyone. They put the counter on this. They attack for a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I go down to five, I go up to seven. If they know an attack was aspiring, then I can just make a two, two. 
go up to seven, then I untap, make a two two. That's turned into a crusade. And then they have one, two, three. So chump Adeline, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. But I can cycle shark for a one, one. And then they play a spell out of sorb. All right, I think you just let that resolve. Brave? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna play around Brave. Are you just not gonna attack with Luminarch? But they're putting the counter and attacking with Luminarch. All right, that was a small win for me. I kind of need to exile that anyways because of Stupid Doubtless. Yeah, I agree with Verdict to reward the good play. So I could be whole main phased. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I died to too many things. I think I'm dead too brave. No matter what. I could find lay down. Oh, true, I forgot about lay down. Am I just dead? I think I'm just very dead, right? Oh, it's Xaxes. Oh no, it's more than Xaxes. Yeah, maybe I suppose you. I didn't think about just finding lay down. I also have like a second lockdown. But I guess lockdown's not very good against Adeline plus wedding. Dude, I, I need to rabbit on, please. Dude, I hate it when it does that. All right, well, we'll never know. We'll never know uh, what could have been. I mean, that's probably very dead. Yeah, white's kind of a problem. My draw was okay, too. I mean, I didn't have a cheap removal, but I'd turn free lock down. Sharks are good, in theory. I want to reconcede this game. No, I don't want to drop. All right, we'll never know. All right, let's do the China Sea, Eastern, West, North, North to South. Not Tundra, no. Not even close. Pretty good dose. Cycle into lockdown. Lockdown against the chick. It's clear that it was China. Tam trips hollowed fountain draw against the uh, mono reds. Not the greatest. The rest of the hand is these though. Lockdown has been decent for me these past few games. Dynasty. Also Dynasty. Trade no, Han yes. I did dash it too. Brutal. What Mao? Well, I'm just saying three letter words.
All right, this whole dashing is kind of playing into my uh, absorb plan. I get to go absorb into Teferi absorb. That should be good enough. Emperor, wandering emperor. There's one emperor. One of my good friends that actually studied uh, art history and especially China family. Family. We don't. We talk in dynasties here. Forget about family. Okay, they drew land, so not have access to dead mana potentially. And that has haste to. I don't think that hall is gonna save me. I'm gonna keep absorb mana up and just pray they don't draw lands. Legacy and is in there near end. Keep in mind, it's like one of the most, uh, one of the most looked up thing on Wiki. Looks so weird. Is it bugged? Oh, dated. All right, baited. I had to, but damn, I'm gonna lose this game. Lockdown, double absorb, verdict, the fairy. The fairy that I draw is pretty damn solid too, but All right, I need a lot of laydowns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's only ten. Okay. All right, they drew the land, wow. They're probably not playing a lot of lands here. That sucks. Lin? Five lands. So I need to cycle into Field of Rune, I think. That's my out, easy. Too late. Century. One century. Put a not even respecting settle wreckage mana. Unbelievable. Might have to start playing settle again. If I keep losing to these, uh, go up to five, take six, right? I used to play up to two settles and they were pretty MVP. Village maybe all slow. Starnheim seems kind of okay. Soul partition might be okay. Side coming is probably not the greatest. And maybe four shark typhoon is a lot. Since you're playing some different decks, why did he get paired against Ragdos six times? Well, at least we're getting good testing. I'm gonna hold on to my uh, sensor, I guess. I hope they don't play a one drop. Three red black made out of six. Tired of it. I'll probably shouldn't be playing Pioneer right now if you don't wanna be playing against uh, Ragdus since it seems like it's just the best deck. But yeah, it's still a lot, I mean.
Nope, not Sue. Jurtson? Hello? Is that you? 22 months was a tier one, Jurtson? Did I mess up? I'm just going for verdict. For verdict mana when I knew they were going to flip that. How much damage is that? Three, four, it's a lot of damage. But if I don't verdict next turn, I'm also taking a lot of damage. All right, I think I'm just gonna absorb and play an angel next turn. I see I could draw a land, that'd be nice. Tundra, no big deal. I just want two angels right away. Seems better, right? What are they going to do about it? Huh? 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 It's going to draw Lyra next turn. No problem. Kingdom for uh, one kingdom. What I have to expect the Tarkus command? Tarkus damage is a lot of damage, but it feels like they need another burn spell, maybe. Rampager? Dang. That's sick. I'm at eight. Shark's kind of nice, doesn't uh, take damage from Cinder Vines. What do you think? Chat hard cast Shark against Cinder Vines? Yay or nay? I might have a Tarkas come in this turn. Who should I block then? I guess if they have nothing, it's better to block like that. I mean, they have a Tarkus command and same amount of damage anyways. Stomp. Stomp me? We play a Tarkus command. Just stack us both, right? And just not do anything. You do another stomp. Right. All right, looks like we're going to have to maybe play uh That might technically be a mistake. You're just finning their deck when they have one turn to draw a burn spell. Yeah, maybe I should have played the Angel last turn. Maybe I played a little scared, but they needed... No, I think my play was good. Because that way they needed to draw like back-to-back -to -back top decks to win the game. I mean, if they draw back-to-back -to -back top decks, so be it. But yeah, using using Den was a mistake. Using Field of Rune was like a tiny, tiny mistake. Okay, they did not. Burn doesn't exist, yeah. Burn cannot hurt me. It does not exist. I mean, none of these cards are very good. Maybe cut it to fairy and add a just a cancel. What about Narset's reversal? It's kind of fancy, right? 
not a great hand, but I probably have to keep, right? Sensor into Wandering Emperor. I don't have lay down. I don't have lockdown. I don't have great untapped mana for turn three lockdown either. I do have sensor turn two, field of rune turn three, wandering emperor turn four, and playable mana. All right, I'll keep. Genius. I don't think sensor can get them. What do you mean sensor? <laughs> I mean, it's not a very kind of a dumb thing to say. I mean, okay, if they're wasting mana. That's cool, right? The genius of Gabriel Nassif. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you make a, a decent point, I guess. Sensor is not amazing against them. I mean, arguably, I should have maybe just played tapped hollow fountain here but also if the aggro deck wants to not use its mana i'm not hitting my life eater they get seven as well Four, it's like Forest Charm, not bad. Yeah, they're playing around Lockdown too, always keeping one man up. What should I do here? I guess I... I pass blocker, it's a little late to decide what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna exile burning tree. Hope they don't have stomp. They probably have stomp though. I target planeswalker. Down to six, really? Dang. I guess I'll make a 2-2. Two, two. I don't have a ton of burn. I think it's mostly a Tarkas command and uh, Stomp. I guess Rampinger is going to be brutal here. Running Volley, good enough. All right, Wandering Emperor, be there. Soul Partition, yikes. Lay down. Could have cycled first. I think I'd rather keep mana up for <clears throat> Auto War or Castle. They just play like a two on haste. Two one kills me, right? Two one pumps everyone. So auto war doesn't save me. I should just cycle now. Need to absorb. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but. Oh, right. It is the end of the world. Why did he get back? Cindervine and Swift Sphere. I should bounce it. I go down to one, but then I'm equally screwed. Yeah, I mean, I have to. 
place is not going to save me. Well, unlikely to save me. So I can castle for free mana cards. Or like a lay down the arm. I feel like that's not going to save me though. How many basics do they play? Do we know for a fact they uh... Maybe they only have two basics. I haven't been keeping track. If they have a Tarkas command, I can't win anyways. Like if they have, if their last card is Stomp or Tarkas command, I'm I'm drawing dead anyway. So, so let's see. Denik would be amazing. So besides Denik, well, let's get the land first. See, uh, see if they have a land or not. Okay, they do have a land. So there's only Denik. If I don't cry, I have like real top decks like Shark Typhoon. Yeah, I guess I just need to not cry and pray. Hmm. I'm sure this is fine. What could go wrong, chat? I think every spell in their deck besides like Burning Tree kills me. I guess there's Rampager too. There's a few bad ones. There it is. Okay, Lyra, easy. I think this is better than hoping the exact top card of my deck is a Lyra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm right, gonna play Tapped Hallowed Fountain. This way I can upkeep castle. Hard <laughs> cast, this is how we go. <laughs> okay. They know I topped one, so they know, they should know my last card in hand is exactly Shark Typhoon. That's a pretty good play by them. But also, I mean, kind of obvious. Is cycling even better than... Yeah, because I could cycle another shark. Which would be good. Could bait them into making a bad attack. I think I should still cry, right? I don't think making a big shark is like... Especially useful. If anything, it's like I'm letting them know... Can't gain life. Can't get rid of this stupid thing. Lyra. Damn it. Oh no. Did it draw something or? They're tagging pretty. I mean, it does look like I just bricked, but. I can lay down my own shark. Oh, no, I can't lay down my own shark. Oh, it looks like GG they're pausing. The GG pause? No? Still alive? Okay. <laughs> Man, if I had one more life. Nine. Nine. And nine eighteen and oh man. How many haste creatures do they play? Not that many, right? Yeah, they don't have that many haste creatures. I think I'd rather do that and only give them one draw step and put them in in chum block mode, then give them two draw steps. Yeah, so Kenzan was two creatures anyways. All right, GG's. That was close. 
Let's see if my top card was uh let's cry two to the bottom. Uh still nothing. Yeah, it's not that far away. Uh two and four. Two and four. Not even beating Ragnos. Back to the drawing boards. Might be back to the drawing board. I might have to start playing Ragnos myself. I'd probably enjoy it. Something Chinese. Ha <laughs> ha